Yo, what's up guys? My name is Destiny and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and pretty much set up a serializer for the chat message model. That's what we're going to be doing. Hopefully you guys will enjoy the video. Do make sure to drop a like, consider subscribing as it really mean the world to me. So let's go ahead and get started. So the very first thing that you just have to do is open up your code editor like we've been doing and you want to open up the serializers py and let me make sure to zoom this in so that you guys can actually see everything that's going on so i'm going to open up the serializer py and i just need to import the model that we will be serializing and in our case we want to serialize the chat message model so hopefully you guys already know that that's what you're working on on this tutorial series and you could just scroll all the way to the bottom and you want to define a new class and we're going to call this one chat message serializer all right so you could just grab the serializer keyword over here and just paste it down there as simple as that and you also want to inherit from serializers dot model serializer all right so if you've been following along with the previous course tutorials that we've been working on using django in react then you should have an idea now that creating a serializer is pretty much like creating a django form so if you know how to create django forms you're you're well um you know versatile in that area then definitely serializers shouldn't give you any issue so after we've done this, then we want to define a class meta over here. And that's because we want to pass in the model that we will be interacting with. And in our case, it will be the chat message model. And we also need um, the fields that we want to interact with. So you could just pull up your models py and, you know, just put it side by side with this one over here and just fill all this in. Okay. So um, I think I missed my serializer py. So I'm just going to fill this in. User is the first one. Sender is the second one. And the receiver is the other one. Uh oh, I just need to put this in like this. And um, message also. And I think we also need the is red. You know what? I'm just going to put all the fields that we need. And over here also, I think we need an ID. We need ID like this. We need message. We need is red. And finally, we need date. Okay. So I'm also going to pass in the dates. Okay, that's pretty much it. There's no um, much thing that we need to do and we should be done with it. All right. So you can actually still pass in profiles if you want, but that one is up to you if you want to pass it in. And we could still even do that when we get to the to the section where we will be working with, you know, working with React. And I'm going to show you guys how that actually works. Okay, so let's see if there are any other things that we need to do for the serializer and uh if there is nothing else that we need to do we're just gonna go ahead and end of the video and jump over to the next one real quick okay so um message serializer you could actually still call this message serializer if you don't want to call it chat message call it whatever you want all right okay and one more thing before i forget we actually need um um okay let's go ahead and define profiles here Let's just do that now. I wanted to do it before later in the tutorial, but let's just do it now and save ourselves some time in the future. All right. So I'm going to say receiver profile should be equal to then let's call the profile serializer, but we don't have the profile serializer yet. That means we need to create a profile serializer, right? So to do that, I'm just going to get down here. So to create, so to create a profile serializer, I'm just going to get down here and I'm going to call it profile. Then you can call it serializer. Uh oh, that's not the right spelling of serializer, just like that. And you will own that you should inherit from serializer dot model serializer, just like this. And we need to pass in a class meta. So I'm going to say class meta. And also I'm going to say model should be equal to profile, just like that. But you know that this is supposed to be lowercase class meta and this should be indented. So we need to import profile over here, right? So import profile. Uh oh, do we even have a profile model in, in the model? Yeah, we do have a profile model. So we just need to say API.models. Okay, this is a comma instead of a full stop. So imports, imports profile. Okay. All right. Profile serializer. We pass this in. We also need fields for the profile serializer. I could just grab one of the fields that we have before. And um, in the profile, we could just paste that in. And for the fields, what do we need? We just need the ID, we need the user, we need the full underscore name and full name, actually not full name. And finally, we need the image, okay? So the image, and I'm just gonna get rid of this, this other ones over here. That's pretty much everything that we need for the 
for the serializer. Now let's just get down here to the message serializer. Now we're going to call the profile serializer and we're going to say read only should be read underscore only only should be true. All right. So this pretty much means that we won't be making any um, writes to this profile serializer here. Instead, we'll, we will just read from it only. And we also need another one. That one is going to be the sender profile. Uh oh, that's going to be the sender underscore profile. And I'm sure we should have all these fields in here already. Yeah, as you can see, this and this. Okay. So sender profile, then we need to pass all this in here. So I'm going to pass in the sender profile first of all. And after the receiver, I'm going to pass in the receiver profile in there again. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We are done with everything that we want to do. In the next one, that's pretty much the setup. In the next one, we're going to go ahead and start writing simple views to, you know, perform the chat message thing. The first one that we're going to be writing is the inbox view to get inbox. And after that, we're going to write another view to get conversation between two users. And after that, we're finally going to go ahead and write one, which is going to be the send message detail. And we're going to write profile detail. And we're also going to write another function for searching of users. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to drop videos on, um, I, I don't want to say on a daily basis because I know that would be quite impossible. I can say maybe once every, every two days should be okay. I don't know. But yeah, hopefully, I'll be able to drop that. And if we can go that way in, in two weeks, in two, three weeks, we should be done with the with the course. It's, it's, not, it's not much, right? So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video and liked it. So make sure to drop a like. Consider subscribing as it really means the world to me. If you're looking to become a Django professional, you know, write your own applications in Django. So I've got three courses there. One is creating a bank account using Django. The other one is a YouTube clone and the other one is a Facebook clone. If you can take those courses, then trust me, you're going to get improved in Django and actually learn a whole lot of things that should guide you to building your next project. That's going to be it. Let's hop on to the next video. Until then, my love, peace out.